And finally, the last game we're going to cover, the Bills and the Chiefs. That's right. Mr. Uh, Jason Kelsey's brother's team, now as it's known, of the ah sign, uh, oh, they overcame those uh, Bills, and the Bills Mafia were out. Um, and it was a really good game. I thought it was really awesome. Um, what do I have here in my notes for them? Uh, yes, yeah, Jason Kelsey cheering his bro um, on. That was... <laughs> huge aspect of the game, but I don't want to take that away because um, Pacheco, that was my other note, was um, seeing this um, guy who I was watching before last year and him still playing on top with Mahomes um, was kind of my overall um, arching uh, favorite. Um, There's so many to pick from with those beautiful hands uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, catching that um that you know uh, so we go it was really great um i enjoyed the game i think i had a lot of fun um during that time that it was it, it was playing um i was pausing they were hitting going back and forth um you know in the weather too as well um i could still see that snow there um of it them carving it away to see the play clock clock for the uh, <laughs> qb to know his timing so that was quite interesting and the play calls, the penalties, you know, the calls. That was interesting, too. That was great. And the kick. Uh, Kate, what do you think? Um, <laughs> I really wanted the Bills to win this game because I really wanted Jer um, I really wanted Josh Allen to really prove that he can get fur far in a playoffs and go to the AFC Championship again and hopefully – prove himself a little more and it's unfortunate that their kicker didn't get that field goal to tie the game and send it to overtime, especially since there's the new rules and we all know about the kerfuffle of the last overtime between the chiefs and the bills. And, um, but, um, my, my thing was, I said years ago, when the Buccaneers won their that one Super Bowl, you get you get the tight end and you get the quarterback cooking, like you get Brady and Gronk cooking, you get Mahomes and Kelsey cooking. There's no way the Chiefs can lose. Those two are just in sync and in utero, like perfect unison, and they do such a good job. And I just was very impressed at the fact that they that they did win, but I gotta say, the Chiefs outplayed the Bills, and but the Bills put up a good fight, and um, I guess we'll see the Ravens and the Chiefs in the AFC Championship, which are the two probably most dominant teams in the AFC. So it worked out perfect. I mean, just seeing that. Uh that that last kick of him we can do it i just feel no. bad because that poor young man has had to delete all his social media and he's gotten death threats and he's oh, gotten no. all this really negative like feedback from the bills mafia the bills mafia can be brutal when it comes to things like that so the poor young man i feel for him. I don't like that fans get to that extreme. I'd like to see one of them get out of their lazy boys, put down their Bud Light and try to kick a field goal in the NFL. Yes. But like seriously <laughs> though, I, I, my heart goes out to that Bills kicker because it's, it, it's, it's a crapshoot. It's either going in or not going in, but you don't threaten the poor boy. Yes, absolutely. We do not condone that on our show at all. No. Absolutely not cool. Um, Delilah, what do you got? What do you think of the game? Yeah, to me, the worst plays were the fact that Stefan Diggs couldn't catch. I mean, I – that – Josh Allen and Stefan Diggs usually on in sync. Like, you know, there's two players that play really well and are, and are in unison – but he had dropped passes. He had passes go right literally at him that he didn't catch. And to me, that was the difference. Honestly, to me, 
that's really what cost Bills the game is that for some reason, Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs could not connect in that game the way they normally and typically do. Whereas Stephon Diggs, you know, laughs and drinks water out of the sideline. I don't know if you guys saw, you know, him do that last, you know, previously um, in the wild card game. And so usually they're in sync and that game they were. And I think that was honestly what cost Bills. And I think th that was, to me, th those were the worst plays were those missed opportunities by Stephon Diggs. That, to me, was what caused them to lose, not the kicker. On the opposite side, I also am an Isaiah Pacheco fan. He's half Puerto Rican. I don't know if people know that, but he's half Puerto Rican. That's why his last name is Pacheco. <laughs> so anytime he's having a great game, I thought he was dominant in the wild card game through the snow. He didn't feel that snow. At least it didn't look like it. And then last game, again, rushing touchdown. Like, I am a very big fan of Isaiah Pacheco as well, uh, Nicole. So I, mm -hmm. I thought that was a really great play. You know, Kelsey always gets the flesh. I understand, right? He's Travis Kelsey. But I thought Isaiah Pacheco had a great game. So All I want to say is I loved the grill that he was wearing. Did you notice the grill he wore? Because <laughs> he, he did a play and then he smiled. I was like, he's really cool. <laughs> I'm gonna have to yeah, I, I do. Delilah, I was noticing that I was disappointed <laughs> in Diggs not catching for Allen either. That was disappointing. Well, you guys heard it here. You know, there's always a next year. 